Hello and welcome to this lecture on continuous integration and continuous delivery with Docker. My name is Mumshad Manambet and we are learning advanced Docker concepts. In this section, we will learn about how Docker integrates with CI-CD pipeline. Let us now look at how Docker plays a key role in the CI-CD pipeline. To begin with, Docker is supported by majority of the build systems like Jenkins, Bamboo, Travis, etc. So how it works typically is that each project has a Docker file checked into its code repository along with the rest of the code for the application. The Docker file, as we learned before, has instructions on building the Docker image. Once checked in to GitHub, Jenkins pulls the code, uses the Docker file part of the code to build the Docker image. You may use a supported Docker plugin for this purpose. On building the new Docker image, Jenkins will tag the image with a new build number, in this case 1.0. On successful build, this image can then be used to run tests. Once the tests are successful, it can then be pushed to the image repositories known as Docker registries, either to a repository internal to the company or external on Docker Hub. The image repository can then be integrated into a container hosting platform like Amazon ECS to host our application. This entire cycle of automated actions from making a change in the application to building, testing, releasing, and finally deploying in production completes a CI-CD pipeline. The next step is to deploy this image in production. Major cloud service providers like Amazon, Google, Azure all support containers. Google Container Engine supports running containers in production on Kubernetes clusters. Kubernetes is a container orchestration technology which is an alternate solution to Docker Swarm that we learned earlier. AWS has ECS, which stands for EC2 Container Service. It provides another mechanism to run containers in production. On-prem solutions like Pivotal Cloud Foundry has PKS, which stands for Pivotal Container Service, which again uses Kubernetes underneath. Finally, Docker's own container hosting platform, Docker Cloud, uses Docker Swarm underneath to orchestrate containers. As you can see, containers and Docker are supported everywhere and there are many options to host containers online. That's it for this lecture and see you in the next lecture.